Hi class, this is your mathematics teacher. In this video, we are going to learn about the concept of division, how to go for the division of numbers and much more. So what is division? In simple words, we can say division means equal sharing, equal grouping or we can say the equal distribution of quantity. Suppose I have 20 chocolates to be divided between two persons. So what will be the share of each person? Very simple, each person will get 10 chocolates. Now what if the same number of chocolates is to be divided among five groups? Each group will have four chocolates. Let's work on some of the division problems over here. I'll take 46 divided by 2. Here you can see we have two numbers 46 and 2. Now what is 46 and what is 2? Let us discuss about it. 46 is the number that, that we are going to divide. So it is the dividend here. 2 is the number that will divide the number 46. So 2 is the divisor. In between these two numbers, we have the sign of division. Let's go for division. I'll put 46 into the division brackets. I'll divide it by the number 2. Here you can see our divisor is number 2. So it's very important to have a good hold over the multiplication table of 2. One more thing that you have to keep in your mind that is shall we divide both the tens place number and ones place number together or shall we divide number 4 individually. Since our divisor is less than the first digit of the dividend, so we will divide number 4 individually. Now what is to be multiplied to 2 so that we will get 4 or almost 4 but not greater than 4. Simple if you recall the multiplication table of 2 you will see 2 2's are 4. 2 2's are 4. Here, 2 goes evenly in 4 2 times. Now, we will go for subtraction. 4 out of 4, we are left with 0. Now, I will bring down number 6. Again, same question. What is to be multiplied to 2? So that we will get 6 or almost 6 but not greater than 6. 2 3's are 6. 6 out of 6, we are left with 0. In this division problem, we have divided 46 by 2. It implies if we divide 46 into 2 equal groups, we will have 23 in each group. Let us consider another problem. That is 463 divided by 3. Here, dividend is 463 and my divisor is number 3. So let us divide. Here divisor is less than the 4. So we will divide 4 individually. 3 goes in 4 1 times. 3 ones are 3. We will subtract 3 out of 4. We will left with 1. I will bring down 6 for division. So what is to be multiplied to 3 so that we will get 16 or almost 16 but not greater than 16. 3 5s are 15 because if we multiply here 3 6 are 18 that is greater than 16 so we will stay with 3 5s are 15. 15 out of 16 we are left with 1. I will bring down next number that is number 3. Here we have 13. Now again. What is to be multiplied to 3 so that we get 13 or almost 13 but not greater than 13. 3 4s are 12. 12 out of 13 we are left with 1. Now here I will encircle here the numbers 3, number 154, 163 and this number. Let us discuss about these numbers in detail. As I have earlier said that this is the number 463 is the number that we divide that is called the dividend. And what is 3 here? The number that divides the dividend that is the divisor. And what is this 154? 154 here is the quotient. The result that we obtained in the process of division that is called the quotient. Or we can say the uh, divisor included in the dividend. How many times the divisor is included in the dividend? That is our question. That means 3 is included in 100, sorry, 463, 154 times that represents our question. So what is this number? The leftover number. Here the leftover number is 1. So 1 is the remainder. The leftover number in the process of division is the remainder. So our remainder here is 1. 
Now, I'll try one more example. To 5 divided by 5. Here, I have considered one more example here. Our dividend here is 4 digit number and our divisor is single digit. I'll put the dividend into division brackets. 25, 45 divided by 5. Here the first digit is 2, so it's less than 5, so we'll consider two numbers, 25. What is to be multiplied to 5, so that we'll get 25. 5 fives are 25, because 5 goes evenly, 5 times in 25. 5 fives are 25. On subtraction, we'll get 0. If you want to write, you can. Now, what is to be multiplied to 5, so that we get 4 or almost 4 but not greater than 4. 5 ones are 5 but that's greater than 4. So we'll stay to 5 zeros are 0. Now we'll go for division of the number here. Now we have 45. 5 times are 45. 45 out of 45 are left with 0. Here our quotient is 509 and our remainder is 0. Let's try one more example. Five sixty three divided by 6. Our dividend here is 563 and our divisor here is 6. Let's put this dividend into dividend brackets. 563 divided by 6. Since 5 is less than the 6, so we'll consider two digits here, over here. 6 nines are 54. 54 out of 56 will subtract, we'll go for subtraction, we're left with 2. I'll bring down number 3, 23. 6 4 are 24s, that's greater than 23. Then 6 3s are 18. We'll subtract 18 from 23 and we are left with 5 as remainder. Here we have done our division problem, but we have a question, how to verify our division problem, whether we have done it correctly or incorrectly, how to check that. For that purpose, we have a division relation. Let's try it out here. We can check our division by this relation, that is. Dividend is equal to quotient multiplied by divisor plus remainder. To check our division, we have a relation that is dividend is equal to quotient multiplied by divisor plus remainder. Here our dividend is equal to 563. Quotient is equal to 93. We'll multiply it by the divisor. Here divisor is equal to 6. And our remainder is equal to 5. Now, here we have two operators. That is multiplication and addition. Let's go for multiplication first. 6 3s are 18. 6 9s are 54. Plus 1 is equal to 55. Plus 5. That is equal to 563. Since this number is, is equal to our dividend, that means we have done our division problem very correctly. Sorry, to understand the concept of division even better, let's have a look at this video. By recalling division, we use division to share things equally in groups. For example, if we distribute 24 balloons among six children evenly, then each will have four balloons. In other words, the answer is four, which we obtained by dividing 24 by six. Now we will learn how to divide a three digit number by a one digit number. Let's consider an example. Solve 476 divided by 7. To divide a 3 digit number by a 1 digit number, we will follow these steps. 
Step 1. Arrange the numbers in the division bracket. Here, 476 is the dividend and 7 is the divisor. Step 2. Consider the first digit of the dividend. If it is less than the divisor, then consider the first two digits. 4 is less than 7. So we consider 47. Step 3. Find the number which when multiplied by the divisor gives a nearest number less than or equal to the number considered in step 2. Step 4. Write the number multiplied by the divisor in the quotient and result of multiplication below the dividend and then subtract. 7 into 6 is equal to 42. So, we write 6 as a part of the quotient and 42 below 47 and subtract to get 5. Step 5. Bring down the next digit of the dividend and repeat steps 2 and 3. 7 into 8 is equal to 56. So, now 8 goes to the quotient, 56 is written below 56 and on subtracting, we get the remainder as 0. Let's now learn how to solve word problems involving division of a 3-digit number by a 1-digit number. Let's consider a word problem. Sujata wants to divide 675 rupees equally among her 3 cousins. How much money will she give to each cousin? Let's look at the solution. Total money that Sujata has is equal to 675 rupees. Number of cousins is equal to 3. So, to divide 675 rupees equally among 3 cousins, we divide 675 by 3. The amount of money that Sujata gives to each cousin is equal to 675 divided by 3 is equal to 225 rupees. So let's proceed further. Let's understand division as repeated subtraction. So what is repeated subtraction? Repeated subtraction is a method in which same number is repeatedly subtracted from other number till we get 0 or the number that is less than the number being subtracted. Let's have an example. I'll take a division problem over here. 35 divided by 5. Let's solve it. 5 goes evenly in 7 times in 35. That's 5 sevens are 35. Here our remainder is equal to 0. So 35 divided by 5 equals to 7. Now let's understood this division problem as repeated subtraction. So what will I do? I'll subtract the divisor from the dividend till we reach the 0 because our remainder here is 0. So 35 minus 5 that is equal to 30. 30 minus 5 is equal to 25 minus 5 20 minus 5 is equal to 15 15 minus 5 is equal to 10 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 and 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Here you can see we have subtracted number 5 from 35 7 times. 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, 6 times, 7 times. I have subtracted number 5 from 35 7 times that is equal to our quotient or we can say 5 is included in the number 35 7 times that is how we relate division sorry that is how we relate repeated subtraction to division. Now we will discuss about the properties or we can say the division facts. Let us discuss about the first division fact. So the first division fact is when a number is divided by itself, the quotient is always equal to 1. Let's have an example. I have a number 26 divided by itself. 
Here the dividend and the divisor is same. So what will be the quotient in this case? Let's understand. 26 divided by 26. 26 goes evenly 1 times in 26. 26 ones have 26. So 26 divided by 26 is equal to 1. It implies that whenever a number is divided by itself, the quotient is always equal to 1. Let's move on to the second concept. Second division fact that is when a number is divided by 1, the quotient is always e equal to the number itself. Let's have a look. 7 divided by 1 is equal to 7. That is 7 divided by 1. Here you can see when a number is divided by 1, the quotient is always equal to the dividend. It is with the every number that when you divide the number with 1, the quotient is always equal to the number itself. Now let's discuss third division fact that is division by 0 is not possible. What is that? I will take a number 4, I will divide it by the 0. Here, what is to be multiplied to 0 so that we will get 4 or what is to be multiplied here so that we get 4. There is no such number which when multiplied to 0 gives us 4. Since this value is undefined, so we can say division by 0 is not possible. Now, when a 0 is divided by any number, the quotient is always equal to the 0. Let's have a look. 0 divided by 16. Let's divide it. When 0 is divided by any number, quotient is always equal to 0. Here, I have divided 0 by 16. You can see quotient is equal to 0. So, this is all about the division and its properties. Hope you understood today's video very well. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.